Motorsport auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts and associated equipment. Visit their website for more details. Hello, welcome to Bosley Race Roundup. We're back tonight for a special event, the V8s at Mount Panorama. This event takes place just before the start of our BMW Z4 and MX5 Championship. That sure will be interesting. So back to today, Matt Talia takes pole from Bamba and ahead of Van Delden. Bamba and Van Delden are fighting out for drive of the year, so they'll be entering as many races between them as they can. This is Matt Talia's first pole for Bosra, and Martin Gwinnicki sits in fourth ahead of Ryan Walker and Matt Owen. Akhtar, McCain and Melissa are not setting times. With the Bathurst 1000 on the 17th of October. This special event was a practice run for that. Well, let's go on board now with Matt Talia for his fastest qualifying time, a 2.10.706. Talia coming through Murray's to start his fastest lap. It was the second lap of his qualifying session, so in there very early on, ahead of everybody else. Up now to Hell's Corner, the left-hand 90 degree, and then on to Mountain Straight, a long run down to Quarry. This special event was open to both variations of the V8, either the Holden or the Ford. Neither of them are easy to drive though, so when you pair that up with Bathurst it is a really difficult combination to keep on top of. You've got to be so gentle on the brakes and get all your braking done before you go into the corners. So Matt now through Quarry up towards the cut-in, the uphill section part of Bathurst. If the drivers can keep it out of the wall and minimise the amount of visits to the pits, then everybody's got a chance of getting on the podium today. Up towards Griffin's Mount and through Reed Park. Nice and easy from Matt, just feathering it through here. And now on the power as we come through Solman Park into John Hinksman Vista. See so many drivers put it into the wall there. Down now to McFilmy Park. You now move on to the downhill section, you start going into Skyline and the S's. Seven thick and fast corners here. All of them very tight and difficult to guard the car around. A lot of people try and get the power down through here too much and end up sliding it round and into the wall. So we're coming down towards the dipper, the hardest part of the circuit, the tightest left-hander through into Forest Elbow and then it opens up onto Conrad Strait. Get the power down now as much as you can for as long as you can. If you can get a good exit from here it is a prime overtaking opportunity. The long straight up the hill into the final three to four corners. We go into a slight right-hander before we come up to a slow left-right flick. Breaking nice and steady again then. Nice and controlled again from Matt through here. Come up to the final corner, Murray's corner, onto the start finish straight again. Past the pit entrance on the left-hand side. Another 90 degree left-hander. Careful not to run wide there, and they cross the line. Acorn Printing are the teamware supplier for Bosra and have even produced clothing items for President Clinton. See the video description to learn more. Down to the race start then, you can see just eight cars on the grid. There were two who fault started as well, Gawenicki and Akta. Alan McCain is missing from the grid, a ghost car there. Akta also having problems with connections. So through the first corner then, Bamba gets around the outside of Talia and goes into first place. Onto Mountain Street for the first time and it's Bamba from Talia from Galenicki in third. Van Delden sits just behind in fourth and already a gap's opened up between the first half and the second half of the field. Heading down towards Quarry now for the first time. Bamba protecting the line. Everyone through there. You can see the first four, but something's happened further behind because the rest of the cars are missing. You just see Akhtar coming through though. A great start for Bamba. He'll be wanting to put as much space between him and Van Delden as possible. They're fighting out for driver of the year. So we're going to go back to the start now. We're going on board with Martin Glenicky, one of the two drivers who made a fault start. Martin starting in fourth position, Van Delden there on the left in the snap-on liveried Holden. So he creeps forward before the lights go out, gives him a slight advantage, already rolling. All the way, down towards turn one. See Neil Bamba going around the outside, Van Delden tries to squeeze as well but doesn't make it. That allows Golenicki to come up into third. Bamba straight away puts a couple of car lengths between him and Talaya. 
can hear Martin back out as well. He did think about coming past the way there. Decided to sit in third and bide his time. So let's move back to the second half of the field. We're going to concentrate on Owen, Walker, Molesova and Anta. So Owen in front of the pack. On the left hand side, too much on the brakes. Gets collected by Walker, then Akta. Molesova also involved and Owen already needing repairs. Moving on to the second half of the first lap, we're on board with Taleo following Bamba. You can see the gap is opened up already. This is just half a lap into the race. So Bamba with clear intentions to stay out front and pull as much gap out as he can. For the 2015 driver of the year, Bamba is only six points behind Van Delden in the overall standings. The next nearest rivals are Simon Underhill, he's 111 points behind. Chris Buttrell is then a further 76 points behind him. So the fight is well and truly between Bamba and Van Delden for that title. We move on now to Martin Glenicky, end of this first lap. He was one of the drivers with a drive through penalty for jumping the start. So we watch him come towards the entrance of the pit lane. Overcooks it here though, ends up on the grass. Akhtar is also needing to pit, he picked up damage from that incident around the first couple of corners. So as Martin spins the car around and gets it into the pit lane, Akhtar is just behind. Half his car's missing, no spoiler or back end on that. We knew this race was going to be full of incidents and it would be action packed, but one person not making mistakes was Neil Bamber. Lap 3 was the fastest lap of the race, he set a 2 minutes 11.337. We're going to stay with Neil now, enjoy this lap. Whilst we do that, can I just remind everybody if you are watching this on YouTube, click that like button and subscribe to our channel. We're going to have lots more videos coming out soon, so you'll be notified of all that. We also have our Twitter and Facebook account, so head over there, give it a thumbs up on Facebook. There's loads of information coming through there from the league and our partners. If you do want to help the league out, we have launched something else as well through our website shop. There are now five subscription packages. What you can do is sign up and give a small monthly amount just to help benefit the league, help us run more sessions, purchase new hardware and generally keep us growing. If you don't fancy doing that, you can always head over to tshirtsuk.com. That's part of the Acorn Printing Group, who are our official team wear supplier. We do have a range of items coming soon, but the first one is out now, our first polo shirt. It looks absolutely fantastic. If you want to take a look, then you can always see it on our website as well. There is a link in there to take you to Acorn Printing site, so you can purchase them direct. If you like what you've seen from our videos and you do want to join us, we do have spaces left for the BMW Z4 and the Mazda MX-5 Championship. That starts on the 13th, it's a 10 round event. It'll be the last 10 round event before we move to 20 rounds in 2016. We have 24 drivers signed up, 4 per team, 2 in each car. We've got enough space left for 8 drivers, so if you do fancy it, head over to the bosra.uk website. Get signed up in the event thread and we will sort you out into a team. Daniel Turk and Tobias Soltau from our previous event in the Aston Martins haven't signed up unfortunately, but we will still have plenty to look forward to, especially the battle between Van Delden and Bamba for the Driver of the Year for 2015. To keep things fair in the event, we have decided to run it as an overall driver's standings rather than having two separate classes, so regardless of what car you are driving, you do have a shot at taking the overall driver's standings title. Neil coming up to complete his fastest lap of the race then through the final three corners. Now we were a little bit disappointed with how many signed up to this event but you can already see how difficult it is around here, Mount Panorama in a V8. The admin team did think about running the V8 in the main event for 2016 but we have put that idea to bed. We have two fantastic events coming up, we will be releasing details of them closer to the end of the year. Now we are going to switch though to Jan Melisova on lap number four. He was having problems getting around the second part of the course. Jan cutting it too fine there and into the wall as we come into the downhill section. Jan was the only driver in the race to go over the incident limit of 30 points. Jan picking up 35 incidents, so that was a one point deduction from his final score. He wasn't finished there though, kept clipping the wall down here as he was trying to make his way back to the pits. Jan's day was going from bad to worse as he went into the dipper, more contact there. And then finally as we come into Forest Elbow he spun the care. Not the best day at the office for him. We're going to move on though, we are now going to Van Delden and Talea. This is the battle for second and third as Neil Bamba shoots off into the distance, way ahead of both of them. This is lap number 5 of 23, so the battle is a well and truly still on for all the drivers involved. Nice to see some fresh liveries as well from Talia and Van Delden. Just listen to those V8s, they do sound absolutely fantastic. So into the final corner. Van Delden taking the wider line across the start finish straight. Now up to turn 1. Talia trying to defend the line, but Van Delden goes round the outside. Nothing Talea can do about that and tucked right in behind Van Delden. You see Bamba up there heading first. 
skip on a couple laps and we are with Van Delden and Talia again coming down the mountain with us getting closer to the end of the year it is time to start talking more about the driver of the year table now we're going to compare some stats first up we're going to go with Van Delden so Matt has been with us since the very start our first race on January the 13th he's participated in 30 races he's had six wins and eight poles and 18 finishes within the top five so how does that compare with Neil Bamba? Well Neil has had 32 starts with us he has had four wins and one pole and 24 finishes within the top five now despite the slight differences there is only six points between them at the top of the driver of the year table it's been a pleasure to watch them both all through the year now as we watch Soleil then, Van Delden sits in second with Toya in third, coming through the final three corners. We are now going to switch over to the view from Toya's car as we come to complete the lap, so we go on board with him now. Breaking hard now down for the final left hand corner onto the main straight to start the next lap. Tidy our line there from Toya. Right on the back of Van Delden's car still. So we complete the lap and go into turn one. Van Delden getting the power down too early, sliding across the track. So I can't believe his luck, up into second. Lap 8, we're watching Ryan Walker coming past Jan Malesva. Jan is a lap down, so he pulls out the way to allow Ryan to pass. Ryan, another car with the back end missing. You can see straight into the boot there. That's from the early incident on the lap 1 with Matt Owen. So coming up the mountain, big impact there. Just manages to dodge Malesva. Walker currently sits in fourth with Martin Glenicky, you'll just see him coming on your screen now. He's in fifth place, so with the damage to Ryan's car, that allowed Martin to catch up a little bit. Ryan needing to go to the pit. On board with Van Delden, he'd recovered from his earlier spin out from second place. He is now sat in third, but Martin Glenicky had overtook Ryan Walker. So as we come down the mountain. Great stuff from Matt through there, but as we come into the dipper and into Forest Elbow, another mistake from Matt. As he comes into Forest Elbow, he does run wide. Contact with the wall, that is damage on the car. You can see the car, he's trying to steer to the left a bit to keep it straight. Now riding on top of second place man to lay his car. We're coming up the mountain, this is lap 13. So Van Delden has been demoted to fourth, Gawenicke up to third, Ryan Walker still in fifth as Talea makes contact through with the wall so that would allow Gawenicke to catch him so Gawenicke going from fourth now with the possibility of second now bear that possibility in mind because this is lap 22 of 23 we're coming up to the final few corners and as you can see Gawenicke has caught Talea up quite considerably there is Van Delden as well but Van Delden is a lap down so overtaking either of these two won't gain him any positions now, there was one driver in this bunch though who thought that this was the final lap. Yes, poor old Matt Toya. So Matt comes around the final corner onto the start finish straight thinking he's got second in the bag. Little does he know though, there is still one more lap to go. So Martin Gwenicke sat behind him coming up to the first corner and all he sees in front is Toya pulling off track. A monumental mistake from Matt. So Van Delden and Gawenicke go through, Matt then realises his mistake, slams it into reverse and joins the track to complete his final lap. Quite a funny mistake we don't see very often in any of our races, but it was Bamba who took the win ahead of Gawenicke and poor old Toya finished in third. Bowden Solutions produce the very best load cell mods and pedal adapters to use with Thrustmaster wheels. You can order yours now at bowdensolutions.com. To the race results then for the third special event of the year and it was Neil Bamba who took the win ahead of Gawenicke and Talia. Neil Bamba picks up a bonus point for the fastest lap that will help in the driver of the year standings. Van Delden finished fourth ahead of Walker and Melisva. Actan McCain and Owen didn't finish the race. That's all from us for now then. Don't forget to join us for the opening round of our final event of the year, the BMW Z4 and the Mazda MX-5 Championship. Thank you ever so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye.